Anything and everything can be done if you can visualize it and if you believe in yourself. And I'm going to tell you something that a lot of people, 99% of people disagree with. Everybody says, follow your passions. I say this book. I say, follow your efforts. It's amazing how we're all passionate about things. We are all passionate about something. But it, no matter what, it all nets out to where do you put your time? Because when people put in their time, you get better at things. And when you get better at something, and you get good at something, then you have a chance to be great at something. And you know what I've learned? Nobody ever quits anything they're great at. And once you get great at it, it's amazing how passionate you become about it. Follow your efforts, right? Because it's not in the dreaming, it's in the doing. It's in my head 24 seven. There's nothing else I can think of. I don't, I don't think about nothing else. If, if, and that's it, I'm just curious. Curiously fascinated with it, and I can't stop thinking about it. Everything I do in my life is is related to this. I don't do nothing else if it's not got to do with it. Fine, you know what I mean? When you are struggling and you start thinking about giving up, I want you to remember the power of hope, the belief that something better is always possible if you're willing to work for it and fight for it. Our hope that if we work hard enough and believe in ourselves, then we can be whatever we dream. Think big, because then you're going to get big. Then you're going to go and achieve big things. That is the most important thing. You know? We don't achieve big things by accident. So shoot for the top, shoot for the sky, shoot for the, you know, uh, uh, for the star. You have to practice who you want to be. You know, you don't wake up one morning and you're suddenly who you think you want to be. You have to put some energy into it. So if you want to be an honest person, you have to be an honest person every day, even starting at three and four and five, right? If you're going to be a hard worker, hard work doesn't just appear. You have to practice hard work. Uh, you have to practice effort. No one has ever, ever achieved anything if they haven't faced failures, if they haven't had disappointments, if they haven't had days when they don't want to wake up, get out of bed. No, no one has ever achieved anything. To achieve anything in life, you have to be prepared to take on the odds. One of the things that I was taught that sticks in my mind was a gentleman by the name of Bill Ball. And he always talked about failing big. So if you're going to fail, fail big. I'm like, I like that part. I do too. I do you know, too. I'm not a fall back mentality kind of person. You say, well, you know, better have another career to fall back on. I'm like, I don't want to fall back on anything. Do you have any regrets? No. Don't have time to regret. We move on. Because we are acceptable for what we are, not what we think we should be. I'm accepted in myself by what I am, but not as I think I should be, because that's a lie. Here's the truth. This is the reality. Nobody's going to believe in you until you've already done it. Nobody's going to come and celebrate with you until you've already done it. The work is going to come before the belief, which means you're going to have to work for a long time by yourself with no applause, with no awards, with nobody telling you good job. And then once you start to build something and people start to see the momentum and they start to see the result, nobody believes in you because you haven't done anything yet. That's the reality. Your imagination is the evidence of things not seen. You know why they say it's not seen? Because your imagination, you are the only one who can see it. The problem with your imagination is you tell it to the wrong people. Comfort zone is dangerous. When you're comfortable, you are at most dangerous. You should never feel comfortable. You should be happy and dissatisfied. Anybody ever tell you, hey, look, you know what? Just be satisfied with what you got. Don't believe them. Get them away from you. You should never be satisfied with what you got. Because the attempt to get more makes you into something better. Slowly is the fastest way to get to where you want to be. And the top of one mountain is the bottom of the next, so keep climbing. If you don't have what you want, stop telling yourself the story because you don't have the money, you don't have the time. That's bullshit. It's because you haven't committed yourself where you would burn your boats. If you want to take the 
fucking island, burn your fucking boats, and you will take the island because people, when they're going to either die or succeed, tend to succeed. Your life depends on it. Your future depends on it. Your destiny depends on it. Your miracle depends on it. If you hold on to stuff, you choke. If you release stuff, you can keep breathing. Life is going to hand you something every day. Take in what you can get out of it. Let go of what you can't get out of it. But don't let anybody hurt you so bad that you suck. It's one thing to be hungry. It's another thing when you're starving for greatness and starving for success. I know what it's like to operate every single day, regardless of the success that I've been a lucky son of a bitch to achieve. I operate every day as if I'm starving. If you want to begin to move, you've got to clear your mind of all the unnecessary luggage and baggage that's weighing us down. You're going to have people to do things to you. Things are going to happen to you. And the most important thing to do is to harness your will and let it go and move so you can grow, so you can get on with your life. It doesn't matter about what happens to you. What matters is what are you going to do about it? You got to get up, look at the man in the mirror and go, this is what I'm doing today, whether they like it or not. I don't give a f Everybody's focusing on the stupidity things that they got on the news. Don't watch the news no more. I give you the real news. You know what the news is about today? You and how you're going to conquer the world. How do you become a king? By taking it to the next fucking level. By doing something outside your comfort zone. There is not one thing that has ever happened to you. Not one experience, not one encounter, not one crisis, not one joyful thing that hasn't happened just to make you better and help you rise. There is another level. The only reason you keep seeing there isn't is you feel so exhausted about where you are. But life, the universe or God is just testing you because there is another level. There's a level where all your dreams are realized. There's a level that you've always dreamed about. It is real. It has not gone away. But it takes that extra burst when you think there's nothing left. There's no way. You've tried everything 10 million times and you keep going. Good fighter is not necessarily the greatest fighter that will live. It's what, where you want to go. You know what I mean? Um, a good fighter just to be diligent and committed and disciplined, doing what you hate to do, but do it like you love it. You know, always testing yourself and forcing yourself to the limits. You, in order to have something different, you are going to have to do something different. In order to have something more, you have to do something you haven't done yet. I have to say the things I didn't want to say, do the things I didn't feel like doing, to have the life I knew I wanted. Period. And you'll look up, look up in five years and not recognize your life. You know, everything happens for a reason and there's, there's a story to, to everything. And, and if you take time to realize you know, what, what your dream is, and, and what you really want in life, no matter what it is, whether it's sports, whether it's in you know, other fields, um, you have to realize that there's always work to do and you want to be the hardest working person in whatever you do and you put yourself in position to be successful. Um, and you have to have a passion about what you do.